Hi there, young yogis. Welcome to Monday Mindful Moments. I'm glad you're here. Today, we are going to continue with our mindfulness of touch. And you're going to need either a stone, a rock, a pebble, a crystal, something like that. I'm going to count to 10 and I would like you to really quickly go find a stone or crystal or something. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here we go. Take your pebble or your stone in your hand. Okay, and put it on your lap. Here's Milo and Myra. They have their stone. Do you see theirs? Okay. So you're going to sit however you want to sit. I'm going to sit like this today. And you put that stone in your lap. And put it in the palm of a, one of your hands. Okay? And with the other hand, you can just hold the stone um, inside the palm. Whatever you want to do. Okay? We're going to feel and touch the stone. Here we go. Either start with your eyes closed, or you can look just straight down at the ground. Begin by feeling the weight of the stone in your palm. How heavy is your stone? Does it feel really heavy, or does it feel really light? And now, Touch all the parts of the stone, the front, the bottom, the right, the left, the top, every, every part of the stone with your fingers and really feel. Try not to look at the stone. Oh, we're doing mindfulness of touch. So you're just feeling the stone. What do you feel? Smooth, rough? Pointy, sharp edges, cold or warm. What does your stone feel like? Be really mindful. Feel all the nooks and crannies. Let's check in and see what we felt what we felt. Myra, what is this stone that you have? My stone says peace. Whoa, that's a stone with a message on it. That's cool. What does your stone feel like? What did you sense in your mindfulness? Mine is really soft. It's so soft I just dropped it. Oof. Mine is also kind of heavy. It's a pretty heavy stone, but it's smooth, and I like it. That's great. What about yours, Milo? I have a crystal. Hmm, what did you feel on your stone? It's kind of rough and jagged. It has edges on it, like pointy edges. Yeah, crystals do sometimes have that, you know. Wonderful. What did your stone feel like, young yogis? Leave us a comment. Let us know. So mindfulness of touch. You see, you can be mindful of all the different senses. Excellent. Our yoga practice today is a flow. So it's like follow the leader. You just have to follow along with me. We're going to start in our mountain pose. Breathe in. Stretch up. And when you breathe out, go into your star pose first. Let me go this way so you can see me better. Let's breathe in again. And this time, let's breathe out while you push and stretch your fingers out to either side of you. On the next inhale, bring your arms up and let's dive down to a forward bend. 
all the way down. See if you can touch the ground with your, your hands. And then walk your hands out to downward dog. Then one knee and then the other. Stretch your arms, look at your belly button. And then we're going to move and flow into plank pose. Nice and strong. Keep that back just flat, not curved like that or not up like that, just nice and flat. And then slowly bring it down, bend your elbows all the way to the ground, and push up on your hands into cobra. Coming back down, we're going to go into shark. Hands back, feet are lifted behind you. Now coming back, let's go back up into Cobra. Bring your knees and your legs back up to plank. Walk your feet forward into Downward Facing Dog. And walk your hands to your feet in Forward Bend. And now, Breathing in, come all the way back up, and let's do it again. So we start in mountain pose with your hands up. Take a breath and let it out while you dive down. All the way down to the forward bend. And now, let's put our feet back and we'll go into downward dog. Breathe in, go into your plank. On the next exhale, let's come down. Breathe in, come up to your cobra. Breathe out, come back down. Let's go to shark. Remember, follow along. This time, let's come back up to plank and bring your knees down. We'll do cat cow. So breathing in, arch your belly, your back, your head up, chest forward. And breathing out, bring your belly to the, push it to the back. Make a nice arch. Let's do that again. Breathe in, arch up. Breathe out. Belly to the back. Okay, push back onto your ankles. Stretch your fingers and your hands in front of you. Now bring your hands behind you. This is child's pose. It's a resting pose. Now turn over and we're going to do some seated stretches. So starting out with our legs straight forward. Let's breathe in as we bring our hands up. Breathe out and just bend. Don't arch your back. Don't go like this or like really stretch just flat, just coming down, you're bending from your hips, come on down, and then let your hands go wherever they want, on your leg, on your ankle, you can grab your feet, your toes, however you want, and this is a wonderful stretch, and we're going to breathe three times in and out if, if in this stretch, so here we go, one, Two, that was three, nice, come back up, and let's bend one knee, this is my left knee bent, we're going to do the same kind of a fold, but with the knee belt, so breathe in, so 
slowly breathe out as you stretch over your leg. Wherever your hands want to stop is fine. Coming back up, let's do the other leg. Bend the right leg, left leg is straight, breathe up, and breathe out as you bend over. Excellent job with your yoga flow today. Good job. Let's finish up with just a little bit of relaxation with our mindfulness. So we're going to breathe and count. We're going to count to six. Breathing in is going to be one. Breathing out is going to be two, three, four, five, six. All right, here we go. With Milo and Myra joining us. Breathe in. Just feel your body after doing those that counted breathing. Just let your breath be normal. Feel your body after doing some yoga. Is it warm? Do you feel any buzzing in your body? Like vibration or sensations like that? Thank you for joining us today. Myra and Milo, you guys have been doing so well. Tell us, it seems like you were much more calm today. What happened this week? We've been practicing. You were practicing your yoga and your mindfulness? Wow. Young yogis, are you practicing also during the week? Practicing your mindfulness of touch and breathing and sound and your yoga? I hope so. And I hope you're sharing this with everybody that you know on Facebook or on YouTube <laughs> when it gets there. So thank you for joining us and joining me today in our mindfulness of touch and yoga flow. Did you follow along well? I know you did. So we'll see you next week. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. And please practice. And we'll come back on Monday. Bye. Bye. Bye.